Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True Dead, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join me in, well, not quite the institute, like, you know, the institute in waiting. What will be the institute in a few centuries or whatever, but, uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet, and we know where we're going. We're going to Parson State Insane Asylum, which shouldn't actually be that tricky to get to, all things considered. You see, I have previously headed up in precisely that direction when I went the slightly illogical route to loop round to Nahant. I'm guessing the game is assuming that you might figure out the Liberty Six like faster than I did and potentially, yeah, loop round more in this sort of a direction to get to uh, the Libertalia or the Liberty Six. But I didn't. I looped round north, so I've actually got Finch Farm as a location I can rest at. Now that kind of works for me, because I know for a fact that yeah, I walked up this road here, and I saw the slog over here, the slog that had ghouls in it, and I know for a fact that from the ridge that looks over water, just beyond the slog, you can see Parsons, they're right next to each other. So, that should not be a big problem, but I do have a plan for a little something I want to visit on route. Still, for the time being, we've just got to get ourselves... I didn't pick up a key by any chance, did I? Because, yeah, obviously this door's a shortcut to skip back to. No, I did not find a key. That's unfortunate. Uh, so, back round over to... Where's the... Where's the... Hang on, where's the... How did I get in here? Oh, there it is, over there. Right, okay, just got to get over to... Yeah, if I stick right on the right, I'm in shallow enough water, I'm not taking rads. Let's be on our way. And out we go. Handful of rads, admittedly, but nothing too major. Fine. Back into the subway system. Should be clear, with the exception of, yeah, I think just like one survivor down in the tunnels who's probably going to go hostile to me. Also, hang on, didn't I uh, destroy? Did I pick up off you the enhanced targeting card? 556. Five, I'll take the 556. Five, Thank you. I'm carrying too many guns. I'm aware I'm carrying too many guns. My plan was to, like, you know, dump them, but unfortunately they keep not running out of ammo. And I'm tired from lack of sleep. Well, that's absolutely fine, because... And I'm hungry from lack of food. That one's less fine. I'm a bit low on uh, meat. What I need to do is, yeah, en route, I need to go hunting, because otherwise hunger is going to tick up. Ah, flipping perfect as I leave the station. That's convenient. Rad... A convenient and surprisingly tough rad roach, but okay. You're tiny. How does it take three bullets to kill you? Admittedly, I think you need, like, multiple roach meat to actually... Ah! You do get multiple roach meat. Well, that's just exactly what I was looking for then. Can't use this one. I'm in... Am I in combat? Are you sure? Well, no matter. We do actually have a proper cookie station back at base, which is just around the corner. Let's head over there. No, you need three of that to actually make a roast, unfortunately, and it doesn't actually do much to your hunger either, so not exactly a great result there. In fact, I'm down to my last bit of food. One ribeye steak remaining, that's literally it. And I'm still peckish at the mint. I've just done one, got me from hungry to peckish. If I'm very lucky, maybe the cows will have regenerated by Finch Farm by now, or maybe there's still some meat, because I have an odd feeling... Was I not able to loot one of the cow corpses just because of weight restrictions? There might be three cow meat waiting for me up there. Actually, maybe four now because of the um, the Wasteland Survival Guide I picked up for double meat. Or not double meat, plus one meat. Okay, let's do the last one. I'm properly fed. I've got plenty of water. That's not a problem at all. Now it's just time for a good long nap. One more question. Do I actually want to carry the damaged hazmat suit with me? Because sure, it's damaged, but I don't know when I'm coming back here. If Parsons sends me on to somewhere else, like Salem or somewhere else up the north or somewhere down the coast, like the castle, I might want to go there directly and not actually have to come back here. Yeah, you know what? I've got the space for it right now. Take that along with me, just in case. And then fill up the rest of your weight allowance with plenty of water, because at least we've got plenty of that. Right, let's get a good 15 hours in. Uh, do we need 15? 14 would probably do the job, yes. Take us through to the next morning. And I'm parched and peckish. Well rested, but I do not appear to have got sick. Beautiful. Right, well, I'm literally out of food. Gonna have to scavenge that on the way. Bit of a concern. If I find any animals, uh, 
taking them out has now become a priority because the food is running out. All right, then let's get this done. Time to head north. Now, the first step should be fairly simple because I've got a couple of routes that I know work for me. First things first, head up north, pass around the outskirts of Diamond City, check for possibility of respawned soldiers. Seems to be safe. In fact, I killed a guy here not long ago. He shouldn't have respawned yet. Fine. Should be safe to just head up this way. I'm going to sneak mode when we get to the corner, just in case there's another one patrolling. No, he can't be that close. The brackets are too stable. A little Luxie up here. Actually, there's there's little all. Okay. Let's see if I get over here. The bracket's going to start closing up. And if they are... Yeah, there's someone right there. US Army Remnant. Let's not bother having any fuss with you. And... Hmm. Rad roaches? Yeah, there's a few rad roaches here, aren't there? Which could potentially make for some fun eating. And oh, bloody hell. Right, well, hitting them's going to be a bit on the... Why am I taking rads right now? Why am I taking rads? Why am I taking rads? Who's giving me rads? Okay, back off. Back, 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 back. Wait, why am I... What? Is there a... A ghoul? Inside the police station? I don't know. Grab the cockroach me and... No, just rad roaches. Okay, um, no, no, not that. Let's just, uh, finish these guys off nice and quick here. Because, oh yeah. Let's just actually finish you lads off. Because I want the meat. One and two. Ah, glowing one. Fine. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. No, there's more, 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 more. D -d Die. Die, you bastard. Yeah, it was just the glowing one, I'm guessing. Uh, so now I can help myself to many different bits of rad roach meat. Okay, not so bad. Got myself a whole pile of meat there. Uh, right, over to 10mm. Reload that. Make sure that guy's not come too close to me. No, he is not. Right, and it's also raining. Okay, hopefully not signs of a storm to come. With all of that there rad roach meat, that should be a few dinners. Enough to keep me going. I've probably got about like, what, I think I just killed four or four. Five, So that's going to be like eight or ten. I already had two. Right, so should be at least three meals there. Fine, that's a nice to have. Also, if your ghoul's here... If your old ghoul's here... Hmm. Is this church also going to be ghouls? And the answer is... Yeah, ghoul's fine. So I'm safe in here as long as I actually manage to keep my distance. What else do we have? Drinking glasses, nothing major. Can't remember what's here in the in the base game. Bathroom sometimes means first aid kits, which is always welcome. Nothing too major, however. Fine. Open up the door. Hello there, ghouls. If I'm just happy to keep my distance, I'm wearing a ghoul mask. Any chance you're willing to just chill out and... Oh, you've got a glowing one over there. Okay, let's just have a very quick shufty. But try and keep in mind, we do not want to be... Now, I'll turn some lights on here. Bear in mind, I do not want to be caught anywhere near a ghoul. Up top, nothing major by the looks of things. Let's just get this done nice and quick. Oh, once I get this done nice and quick, there are flipping ghouls around here. And when you're in the rads of a ghoul, there's a very real possibility you will actually pick up a sickness. So I shouldn't be doing this. Tell you what, bottle of wine? I won't say no. After all, if I just pace out the alcohol, I can do the odd drink, slowly get a bit of sanity back. And yeah, should be fine. And if worse comes to worse, I do happen to get unlucky and get addicted. I do have one dose of Addictol on me and plenty of water for it, so not a big deal. And in fact, more wine as well. It shouldn't be too surprised about that in a church. Fine, there's two sanity right there. You know what? I think I'm pretty happy to take that. Let's just be on our way. 
Right, now, just sprint down here, ignore the raiders who will never see me or fire at me in time. That's absolutely fine. Down here towards Boston Common, then we can just loop north and life will be good. Right, just past Mass Fusion, and I've passed by here before, should be a nice easy jog north now to take me back up to the river. And also, rather conveniently, yeah, sentry bot. Now, obviously, don't want to be tangling with a sentry bot, but if we're going to Parsons, then that means, logically, what's his face from Cabot House, the old guy, must be there. Because he was put there, well, unless he isn't there yet, but I feel like he should be. Like, logically, the bloke, the old bloke, who's at the bottom of Parsons in the base game, should be there at this point too. And, yeah, officially the reason he's got the powers he's got in Fallout 4 is from the experiments that have been described here. Fine, so we're going to go and meet him. However, he's tied, of course, to Cabot House. So as a result, while I'm passing by Cabot House, I might just want to make a little bit of a sprint and... Oh! Oh, that frame rate! Oh, Frost does not like me. Right, probably the best thing we can do is just basically make a run for it. These machines are going to be hostile. But if I just basically sneak as much as I... Ooh! You found me. Okay. That's of interest. Okay, and the wine's worn off. Can I even get in here? No, I cannot get in here. Cabot House, and you're not murdering me, which is great. Yeah. So, there's no intercom, there's no buzzer, I can't get in. Fine. So, even if that is in some way relevant, can't get in there yet. Suspect I might need to do so later. In which case, we can just nip through the back streets, and we're almost back at Bunker Hill, where I can drop a nice safety save before we head further north. In fact, even though Bunker Hill is kind of useless, does it have a cooking station? Because if it does, I can cook up all that radroach meat. No. No, of course it doesn't, because this settlement is just the worst settlement in the world. And tragically, all the soldiers seem to have despawned, otherwise this would have been an excellent time for me to actually replace my missing chest piece and uh, right leg. The only guy that's here is the survivor, who's hard-coded in, but yeah, the stuff he's got is pretty poor. Now, hop, skip, and a jump over the river via the convenient bridges I've already been over. I should now pass through the safe territory of County Crossing. That should be around here somewhere. But bear in mind, yeah, there's that random police protectron. There was a cow close by to you. Any chance your cow has respawned? And the answer is tragically no. Okay. There's Revere. There's your place, but you don't have any animals, so that's fine. So yeah, let's now move over towards Revere. Revere's safe, it's ghoul territory. The ghoul mask has just like totally changed how I view the map. Which is really cool. It's a really nice change. In all fairness, it did in Fallout 3 as well. Well, not so much because ghouls weren't really a problem in Fallout 3. They were one of the very lower tier enemies. Right up to the point where you have broken steel installed. At which point, yes, the actual nastier ghouls started spawning in. Then the ghoul mask became absolutely flipping invaluable. Right, so we'll just skirt around the outside of here. Keep an eye out for any animals. Tragically not. And yeah, we're on a good little starting point here. Now we can head north, skipping by the happy birthday terrifying guy who killed himself or his twin brother, or maybe both. And, yeah, this looks like it's... Uh, this'll do it a push. Looks like I'll have to take a bit of a running jump here, and... Ah, split second of rads, but nothing too major. Okay. So now we're over here. I didn't come over this bridge last time, though. I definitely didn't make that jump in the past. But this does bring me, yep, straight up to Finch Farm. Now just double check. No one's respawned in around here. No. Seems to be fine. Uh, though actually, it looks like some of the people that were killed, no. Again, those are the hard-coded survivors who were killed by the raids who took the place over. Oh, I'll take your bandage, thank you. The people I killed, I think, are long gone. So, nothing major going on here. Now, parched and hungry. 
Well, if we're very lucky, we might be able to sort those out right now. Because, oh yeah. I had a feeling that I'd left one cow unattended. And that is excellent news. He's probably just sitting there thinking, oh, remember the time that psychopath with a Chinese sword came through? Well, at least I survived, all right? I lived another day. Good news, I'm back! Now, is it just you? Or is there anyone else around here? Because I think it might be just you. And yeah, I think I left one of them alone because I didn't have the weight to carry all of it, if I recall correctly. Or maybe I'm misremembering and one of them's just respawned in. In either case, beef is back on the menu. Right, get round the back of you. And there we go. Sneak attack. And now finish you off for cow meat. Very, very nice indeed. Right. Grab all of that, take that back to Finch Farm. We've now actually got some food again. Between the cockroaches and four ribeye steaks. We're not in fantastic shape, but it's good enough for the time being. It'll flip in do, alright? Yep, total radroach meat is ten. Good. So that's three doses of grilled radroach. And the ribeye steak should be four of them. Very, very nice indeed. I have, however, managed to now be over capacity when previously I wasn't, which raises interesting questions about the conservation of mass, but whatever. And tragically, though there was once a Radaway here, that has not decided to regenerate on this occasion. But, wow, I've lost like nearly half my health bar to Rads already. Right, so, we can drop a nice save here. Let's talk about the plan, because I want to take a little excursion. Now I've got a nice safe point to save right here. Because over here somewhere is going to be Malden. Malden has two separate hospitals in it, and I believe one of them is Ghouly. So, I mean, Ghouly is a risk. Because sure, the ghouls won't attack me, but the ghouls are going to give me rad, and when you're in their rad field, you can get sick. So it's not without risk, because I have no antibiotics right now. So if it goes wrong, I might just have to reset back here at Finch. But... I wouldn't mind finding one more Radaway, plus some spare antibiotics, all sorts of good stuff. One more dose of Thorazine would cheer me up as well, just to make sure sanity's good. But I think I've got that under control now. Also, there's something around here. Hello. Something was almost detecting me for a second. It's... there's a wolf over there. You know what? I am not sufficiently high on meat. I'm willing to turn that down. Any more wolves? No. Seems to be all quiet for the minute. Okay, just go and grab that then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, searching. Searching. Oh, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the gutsy. That's the gutsy. Don't want to tangle with you. But if you want to come in this direction and search for me over there, while well, I just basically say screw you and then loop the long way around over here... That could work for me. Yeah, I don't want to tangle with the Gutsy. Watch out for the Gutsy there. He'd just be a waste of ammo and I wouldn't really get anything out of it. Ignore the distress signal. I don't actually care. Right, round here, round here, round here, round here, round here. He's over there somewhere. Not detecting me. Fine. Start running across the road. Remember, he's there with the military blockade because robots are just tanky as all balls. And that would not be... Hello! You're a deer! Right, no, no, you're not going anywhere. You're not flipping going anywhere. I'm having the deer meat too. I'm also now over capacity. I think I need to start making some difficult decisions here. I could just drink some water down. Because I've got, well, I've only got 11. That's going to go down fast enough anyway. Okay, stick to the original plan. Dump the short plasma rifle. 100 is fine, but the ammo for it is relatively scarce. It is now finally almost dry. I've got my new scoped assault rifle, which sure is damaged 62, but fires ludicrously faster. I want to say ludicrously faster. This thing fires at 33. Yeah, but this has got a scope on it. Plus, the ammo is a lot more common. So that's definitely for the better. Right, and continue on westward. It's got to be... Where's Molden? It's got to be bloody somewhere around here. And I'm guessing what's found me is just the deer fawn who, uh, you know, while he's red, probably isn't going to do that much damage to me. Here we go. A little bit further west than I was expecting. That's one of the facilities. Anything that big, that's a hospital. Now, am I right here? Yeah. Just like in the base game, it's ghoulie. 
And the ghouls do not care about me. So what I need to do is just find a way up and around this area that involves going close by to as few ghouls as possible and staying outside their rad range. Looks like if I just go straight up the middle. Lovely medtech research. In we go. Now this here is the smaller of the two medical facilities in this area because this one is, yeah, it's actually a really small area because some of it's locked away until you do something with McCready, if I recall correctly. So as a result, we've got to be a little bit on the, oh, hang on. Well, something's alive in here. If we're lucky, just ghouls. Let's check if there's anything new here, just on the off chance. And that is just a security alert. Fine, containment lockdown. I believe that is, yeah, exactly the same as in the base game. Fine. Door one opens up. Just want to be sure what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at, ooh, whiskey. Everyone loves some whiskey. And some 10 millimeter times quite a few. That's all good. Right, security. Sadly, nothing I can do there. One med kit, though. Old world style, but no, just some buff out. That's a shame. Anything. Oh! Hello, 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 hello. Right, okay. So, ghoul annoyingly possibly above me, but it still counts. Right. I'm going to be honest, I'm concerned because I know for a fact this area has multiple tiers to it, and clearly there are ghouls above me and they're irradiating through the ceiling. Which kind of feels like it shouldn't happen, but here we are. This isn't a hospital. It's small and it's locked away. There's like a, a terminal that needs a password that's not going to be here. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to go find the other facility because the other one is a hospital. It's a lot bigger. There's a lot more med kits there because there's not going to be many med kits here because there's, yeah, technically it's not a hospital though. Actually, if I recall correctly. I think that, oh, there we go. There we flipping go. I think there's a couple of bathrooms just around the corner. If I could get to them, might be some, yeah, ignore you, ignore you, ignore you, ignore you, ignore you. Uh, can't ignore you, however. You just need to go down, by the way. Interestingly, they don't seem to go hostile even when you're shooting them. Uh, I think there's a double bathroom around here. So, Stimpak purified water. Oh, I'm already bloody full up. And one more bathroom there. Bandage scissors. No, no. Don't get stuck on the scenery. Let's go. Let's get the bloody hell out of here. Out of here, please. Thank you. And then there's also a dressing room down over here. Changing room, not a dressing room. Aha. Thought so. Mentats. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take that and I'm going to walk away. That's good enough. Some Mentats some booze, that is, that's a surgical kit, go on then, let's just get out of here fast as you can please, I don't want to take any more bloody rads, yeah that'll do, I'm happy with that, now step outside and immediately move forward and away from the ghoul territory, stay away from the ghouls, was that a good trade, I don't know, I've basically just traded a handful of rads for, what, three or four sanity, also is that a is that a cooking station up there? Okay, also, don't jump over a car. You know what cars can flip and do? There's a bunch of... Oh, balls! Right, I've just picked up... I've just... Okay, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's, there's, there's someone up here. Fine. Okay, well, that's... That's that's okay. That's absolutely a-okay. Uh, they don't seem to care about that. That's lucky. That was kind of silly, actually. Was that a cooking... Yeah, that's a cooking station. All right, let's quickly cook the meats that I've actually found previously. Just, just get that done, because in particular, the grilled venison, that'll keep me going for a long time. Now, insomnia is a bit of a pain, because insomnia is, if I recall correctly, that needs more sleep, right? Yeah, it requires more sleep. So, going to need to be careful about that. I've got to be careful, though. Every second I'm in ghoul space... There's obviously, I'm just picking up rads and rads and rads and rads. Now, uh, church or something, I'm pretty sure that ruin is the, what is it called? The the headquarters for uh, Slocum Joe's, Slocum Joe's headquarters. 
Beyond that, it's going to be hunting mongrel. It's not what I was expecting. Okay. Let's see if I can get up somewhere high. Let me chance and should not be surprised by this. Molden men. Well, you know, being inside Molden, not too surprising. Right, so that over there is, yeah, that's the houses close by to the sinkhole. That I don't want to go into because that leads down to trouble. All right, let's just get a little bit closer. Let's just scope it out here. But I'm guessing they're occupying the hospital. And if they are, that could be trouble. There's Malden Middle School. I assume I'm around the back of that. Anything? Yeah, there's a hunting mongrel. In fact, actually, there's a couple of them. Right, so they've got big piles of dogs. Alright. That could be a concern. Let's just get around the corner over here. The school. What are the sc Ah, the school leads down to a vault. I'm guessing that's where the Malden men live. No reason not to give it a little bit of a poke. It seems like it's quiet over here. Except, hang on, isn't that the door that... No. Over here, over here. Hang on. Yeah, on door here. Here we go. Let's have a little look-see what's going on in the vault. Okay, am I alone? I'm not alone. Something else is alive in here. But it's not close. And as for the vault, the vault's closed. Except if it's closed and I can't get in because you can't open vaults in this mod, then what's inside it? Well, that's just straight up weird. Okay, I kind of assumed this would be the base of operations for the mod. Actually, it might be. If I had to guess, I'm going to say at some point this game's going to send me back to this location and that vault will have just opened itself up or something. Because, yeah, there should be a little control panel up front. I can use my pit boy to open up, but tragically not. So, in which case, probably best we just pull out at this point. Well, we may as well see if we can do a little something here. Because you seem to have got yourself a little bit on the duck side couple of you're just a ridiculously large raven alright a couple of dogs go down good start if nothing else dogs are food which is always flipping welcome let's have a look see what else we got just peek out the windows alright Two dogs down. That doesn't hit my sanity, but it does give me food. Right, let's just quickly go and grab myself some mongrel meat. So, what do we have here? Two mongrel meat. Together with... Where are you? There's something around here. Ah, there you go. I see you. Hello. Molden man. I think they're clustered around what looks like that metro, which is fine. I'm not really interested in your metro station, to be honest, because they were centred underground. I don't care about your metro station. I just want to get to the hospital that's over, yeah, all the way over there. If I just skirt around the outside of town, I might be able to make it to that hospital without ever actually bothering the... No, not this way, because this way leads up to the houses and the sinkhole, so I can't loop around that way. I'll just run straight into them. But if I loop around out of town this way and around, that might about work. Yeah, if I've got this right, what I can do is head around outside of the town, probably go to something a little bit more, you know, competent at day-to-day -day fast firing... That is... I forget what that is, but I don't actually care. Now I can just loop around the outside of town. Everything seems quiet around here. And I can loop around to the hospital. Now that is super mutants in the base game, but based on what I'm seeing, it would appear the Molden men hold this side of town. If the Molden men hold the hospital, then it's no longer worth my trouble to go in there. Because then... 
I'll probably end up with a net loss of sanity, rendering my trip to med tech completely pointless. Yeah, this was the right way to go. Why bother going through town, which I know is occupied, where I can just skirt around the outside here. Just check there's nothing behind me. Handful of wolves, but they're not detecting me. Right, okay. Now, can we go? Yeah. We got Molden Men Guard in the hospital. And honestly, I've not got a huge amount of interest in trying to fight my way through all of them. But, just out of interest, how many? One dog. One Molden Man. One... There's more over there that are going to get pulled in. No. It's not worth the trouble. That is not worth the trouble. Let's just get out of here nice and fast, please. Get out of here nice and fast. Down the slope. Let's head back to base. Okay. I'm not going to cause trouble with all them for a hospital they're almost certainly occupying in full. Though I am sort of interested in why there's a building site that actually appears to be guarded by an actual turret over here. Hello. I don't know. Let me let me let me get up top here and have a little look. See, who's got a turret and why? Whatever it is, it's it's unmarked. And now the turret's hidden. I did see. There it is. I see you. I see you round the back there. Hello. Four bullets will take care of you. Get myself a handful of XP. Wouldn't mind leveling up again. Help myself to a new perk. Yeah, trade four bullets in a weak gun for three in a stronger one. That ain't bad. Yeah, just a bunch of not fully constructed houses. Including, weirdly, a large amount of... Yeah. A large amount of guarded houses. Okay, well this feels like it would be super mutants from gore bags in base, but... Doesn't seem to be anything here now. Alright, let's keep on keeping on in that case. So, out of all of that, we've managed to get ourselves a reasonable, if not spectacular, haul. Mentats is nice. And we've got a little bit of booze, so I can do a little bit of killing without panicking too much. There's also the Lost Patrol, which I've just started. So that's, that's good. And the Battlefield Holler Tape and, and all the rest of it. So that's nice. Yeah, there's just a couple of quests that never really got taken out of the game. So I can try and do the Lost Patrol if I wanted to. Or indeed, I can try and greet the dog. The dog sadly being very dead because he tried to kill me so I killed him first. Ah, here's an interesting one. I was just passing by and the National Guard Training Yard... Now, okay, fine, there's... well... Hmm... This could be some nice free XP right here. That's tier 1 stuff over there. There we are, that's 24 XP for 4 bullets. Yeah, go on then, why not? Another 24 XP for the second one going down. Now, in theory, I could... ah, but... Okay. So, pros and cons of attempting to go in here. There's a trigger, and also there's IEDs. There's a trigger in here that causes, yeah, a sentry bot to spawn in the... Okay, apparently I followed the radio distress signal. I didn't even mean to. Yeah, that causes a sentry bot to spawn. I really don't want to run into a sentry bot. I don't. I really don't. But... If I could help myself to whatever's in the actual armory, and if I could also not blow up with the IEDs that are everywhere, this strikes me as a bad idea. This this whole thing strikes me as a terrible idea, in fact. Also, I've just accidentally come up top and there's another turret up here. That's fine. I'm up to the free XP, if nothing else. Ooh, frag grenade, though. I'll take one of them. They're pretty powerful. And 5.56 too. Okay. Looks to me like there's... That building might be lootable though. Let's head over to the right. 
loot that building and we'll call it a day there. And I think I saw a, yeah, there's an IED by the door. That's fine. Just shoot that, it'll be okay. And when I say shoot that, yeah, sometimes it takes a few bullets to do. Uh, right. In we go. And tragically, basically nothing. I was hoping for better, but I've traded, you know, three bullets for four, so I guess I can't complain. Right, cross the road significantly further down. I just keep following the distress signal. The game's very keen for me to do that. I mean, I could actually... If I do the Lost Patrol, like, is there actually... Hmm. I'm just curious whether I could actually do the Lost Patrol. Whether the game spawned in all the stuff and whether that might be a way of getting a giant pile of... Sorry, is that a... No, I was hoping that might just mysteriously be a cow that had spawned in the water, but tragically not. No, it's not worth it, because over there is going to be ghouls and more rads, and quite frankly, I've taken enough rads, I need to stay away from rads right now. Take the sanity we've got, that's fine. Now, I'm not technically sleepy yet, but I'm going to have a good long sleep anyway, because with insomnia, that is going to sneak up on me. Yeah, a good 11 hours now, get me to half six the following morning, fine. And I'm hungry and thirsty, but no more sick. Fine, that'll do. And properly hydrated, properly fed. Good old grilled venison. Right, time to head north. Probably best way to do that is just to pretty much follow the road straight up. By which I mean skirt around the outside of the military checkpoint. And then join up with the road after that point. Where's the checkpoint and where's... It's not a checkpoint, is it? It's just a crash truck, I think. Stay away from over there. That was... Actually, was that ghouls down by the foundry? If it was, there's... Mm, there's a handful of med kits in there. And it's relatively open. I'll tell you what. I've literally just got to save down. If this is ghouls, I might be willing to have a little Luxie inside. Is it ghouls? I can't remember what's actually in here now. Uh, well, there's a gate. You can open the gate. That's a good starting point. Hello. No, it's Themis. No, 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 no. Back off. Back off. Leave the Themis be. No need to engage in a fight for no reason. All right. That's what Fallout Frost has taught me. If you don't have to fight, don't fight. Just sneak on by. Because you will die in a handful of bullets, especially now I'm not wearing a chest piece or any armor on my right leg. I am squishy right now. Also, I should probably, like, get out and use my scoped rifle at some point. That would probably be fun and good and interesting. Can I reload it? Yes, I can. Marvelous. I can swap the numbers around. Now, if I'm correct, directly in front of me here should be the slog. And the slog should be held by, yeah, ferals. But the slog's pretty open, so I should just be able to basically skirt around them. Now, the slog should also... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, hello. Running ferals. What are they taking on? Okay. The ferals have got their eye on something. And stay away from over there. Because Deathclaw spawns in under the bridge over there. And they are... Hang on. What are you? A worker! Okay, well this is of interest. So a worker just basically punched a feral ghoul to death. And from that high ground, the worker potentially has a chance. Because no. The worker's luck ran out. Unless of course the worker is mysteriously actually essential if they are yeah there's right there's there's workers trying to take on ferals and technically i think they're winning because i think they might be essential because you just went down on the ground and then you recovered a bit later so right hello you just <laughs> they're just punching feral death. that's a really really bad idea though you know due credit to them they're punching feral death when they're wearing no armor I couldn't do that. Well, I guess technically I'd rather have workers here than, than feral ghouls. Yes, that's true. So, um, hello. Hi. Yeah. So these are presumably, yeah, the workers from the 
base game. Except the named characters you can speak to aren't here. And now they own this place, I guess. Which is good, because if they've killed all of the actual ferals, that probably means... Nice! Gonna drop a quick safety save here in a minute. Lovely. Am I welcome to... No. I'm not allowed to have their whiskey, however. Any chance I could have your... Yes! I could have your crops. Harvest a carrot. Now, does a carrot have rads, technically? The answer, tragically, is yes. It is a mute carrot. So, probably leave that be. I'm okay for food for the time being. Don't suppose you'd let me use this settlement now? And, yeah. Okay. Now, I technically actually own the slog. And, also, it has people living here. So, I've just got my own settlement. Well, that's nice. I'm going to make myself my own bed. The nice vault tech kind of bed. Lovely. In fact, I'm not sleeping with all of you in there. Yeah, no, no. I'm having my own special little area over here. Nice. So, with the ferals cleared out, mostly by them, not by me, there's also... Ooh. Are you willing to give me the quest to go to Automatoys? Hello. And... Maybe... Maybe? Hello? No, he's had his uh, dialogue disabled, so he cannot do that, tragically. Also, I think now that I actually own the settlement, they're okay with me stealing all their stuff. Yep. Yep, they are. One more whiskey for me. Lovely. And one dose of a dick toll. Now, that's flipping useful right there. So I can basically, yeah, now use booze pretty freely. Because, oh, is that bandages? I'll take bandages too. Because now, even if I get addicted, I can just sort it out immediately. That works for me. Right, and one quick hour's sleep there gets me up to parch. That's fine. I've got plenty of water. And the whiskey got rid of a tiny amount of rads too. Good. Well, that all worked out much better than expected. Because apparently there were just workers here and they're all immortal. Or maybe they're not. And they just got very, very lucky indeed. Because they did just punch a bunch of flipping ghouls to death. Won't be able to pick that this. is a little diner. Nothing there I've noticed aside from empty bottles as far as I can see. Now, if I'm right, I should be just across the water from... Yeah, that's Parsons. That's Parsons right there. Question is... How do we get over there at this point? Because, yeah, Deathclaw Bridge over there might potentially still be a problem. Let's just head over it. Yeah, thought so. And uh, Glowing Deathclaw, actually. Glowing Deathclaw. Decided I don't want to go that way, but then one of my flipping options. Honestly, I'm kind of uh, lacking in them. Because if I wanted to be the other side of the water already... Yeah, there's actually no good bridges around here at all. If I want to cross the water, either I need to loop back on myself all the way back over there and loop round up top, or I need to go for a swim. Honestly, I really don't want to go for a swim. Like, I've taken enough rads, but if I was actually to do a rad X, I'd probably be okay, and I've got the water to handle that. And I definitely don't want to tangle with you. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. Glowing death claws are a little bit on the intimidating side. Uh, I think it's also... Uh oh Yeah. I'm just going to go for the Radex and the swim. If it doesn't work out, I can just restart. I've got to save down at... I think he's coming. I think that's the glowing death claw. I think he's here. Yeah, I, th I think he... Okay. So, this probably isn't... No, that didn't work out for me. So, back over here. This time, probably don't even get spotted by the Deathclaw. Because that's just a bad idea in general. Um, instead, just hop straight down here. Radex, swim. Let's just investigate what's going on at Parsons. Right, quick, 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 quick. Four rads a second. Uh, not the worst thing in the world. Uh-oh. Right. Searching. Searching, but fading searching. Get behind a thing. Yeah, that death claw is perceptive. That's a concern. I don't think he's going to find me now. Though, just in theory... Just in theory, I wonder how far he's allowed to roam. Because if there happens to be, like, you know, 
a big terrifying thing around Parsons that I actually need to deal with and I don't want to deal with. Luring a Deathclaw in this direction, then just running through and letting whatever's here take care of it and... Oh, no, that's just a tree trunk. Right, what am I walking into? Because what I appear to be walking into is, quite frankly, worryingly unguard- Molden men! Well, I keep running into you boys today, don't I? I see you, and I miss you. That'll get you, though. Do you have any dogs with you? No. One Molden man chilling out outside. Fine. If you're disappointed I didn't decide to murder the Molden man earlier, looks like you're going to get your wish yet, because the Molden men are here. And he is not alone. There we are. Parsons State Insane Asylum. So here we are at Parsons. Let's just nose inside for a second here. Yep, Parsons front door key. Boom. And what exactly? Oh. What's going on here? We've got ourselves... Oh. We've got ourselves some various interesting plotty things here. There is a book, The Holy Order, Themis. Right. I've not just walked into a dungeon, I've walked into a war zone. It would appear, if I had to guess, the Themis are coming. The Book of Whispers and the Holy Order. Right. Well, this is interesting. What can we learn about these two factions here? And also, oh, hello. Random survivor. Well, you need to go down. You just ran in. Okay, oh. Now the Molden men are searching for me. Well, that's fine. You can, how are you not dead? Oh dear, there's a bit of concern. Perhaps about the number of Molden men that are already coming in this direction. Are we good? Are we fine or are more coming through that door over there? I think we're okay for now. The Book of Whispers. Crack that open. Here the voice dwells beneath and within the serum, the crown, and angel outside. This fortress, this chapel, so steeled against invaders, shall not fall, but linger. Our master's fate lies with another survivor. Fine. So yeah, it's Watts' face down below in the basement with the psychic powers. Today we strike at Malden's heart, the asylum. There from whence all evil flows, we shall go. We shall strike down every heathen cannibal we set our sight upon. Blessings of the Father be with us, for we may not live to see his chapel again. Right, so apparently the Molden men were cannibals. I just sort of missed that bit. The Molden men are cannibals, and the Themis cultists turn out to be, well, for the moment at least, on the side of the angels. Because they are going to help me take out the Molden men and vice versa. If I stay back and play it carefully, I might even be able to, yeah, get away with not doing that much killing. If someone else would like to do the killing for me. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that's enough for now. I'm going to call it a part there. And we are going to do Parson State Insane Asylum next time. Because, uh, well, I'm a little bit concerned by the fact... Well, we've got to save not too long ago. We've got to save at the slog. So if this all goes to hell, it's not the hardest thing in the world for me to potentially just get back over here. That's... Can I not escape? Can't pick this. Oh, blimey. Apparently, I accidentally shut the door behind me and now I can't leave if I wanted to. Well, that's just flipping marvelous. So, we're trapped in here now, and when I say trapped in here, at least to the point where someone kills us dead, which might well happen, but we shall see. We shall flipping see, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.